Good fight, that helps. Come on. Judge, judge, judge. That's you ready? day one, Kim. You ready? Ready? And that's Bibiano Go. Fernandez. This fight brought to you by Petron. Fuel for everyone. Bantamweight Championship on the line. The champion in the black trunks, the challenger in the red and white. What I noticed yesterday when I was watching, when I had a chance to talk to both of them, the Bibiano looks significantly bigger. Pangulashutian no, it's very nice. I was wondering what Kim was okay. going to do there. He seemed to have time and, and space to do something. Oh, he decided okay. to just dig some elbows break, into break, the shoulder break. blade. Yuki Shimada Tana. doesn't want to see any more of that because he's worried Yuka. about hitting the back of the Spine head. Line, what do you think about that, Rich? Many times. Well, I told you. day one, obviously Yuka. targeting the spine with the elbows and the back of the head with the, uh, the elbows. We have, we have trouble seeing the angle from here, but Yuji's right on top of it. I'm sure he probably gave okay. Daewon Kim a, a verbal warning there and uh, and then decided to yellow card him. At this point in time, that means that Kim can lose 10% of the purse. Here's Grand the replay. Yeah, that's the back of the neck. That's the shoulder blade. He had let him get away with it one time. He gave him a little shot, it looked like a verbal warning, okay. and then he hit him again two more times. One was okay. like a real slight one, but okay, there did seem to be one yeah, solidly in the back of the neck bridge. You have to remember that from this replay that there were several elbows that were thrown prior to that replay as well. So we don't know if Yuji actually gave Daewon uh, a warning prior to that verbally. And I've noticed that they're restarting him in the same okay, position. Absolutely. Just because there was a foul doesn't mean that it has to change the direction of the fight. Oh, Viviano yes, at this point here. in time has actually touch earned here. this takedown, so you don't want to take that away from him and start the fight back on the feet. Yeah, you'll find that in other organizations. They actually start him standing up after the foul. Viviano gets reversed here when he went for the, for the back. Beautiful. Work into the triangle. If he can lock it in. Now, Switch that, to the oh, armbar. The armbar was on right from the beginning there. Kim, Kim's out, but Bibiano is pre-attacking right now. That's nice Lost work. Kim pulls out. Yeah, good. Yes, that's here. That's here, okay. Kim hit him a little short, chopping that's shots to the side of the head. Got to make sure he doesn't get him on the back of the head. Bibiano stands back up. Going to look to try and turn oh, it. There you go, turn it facing. To me, I think you can see the size. It's, I think, a little bit of the strength difference, though, between the between the two when Bibiano took him down as well as he's able to control the top position for a little bit. With Kim, he's just real scrappy. He moves real well on the bottom. He scrambles really well. His scramble, I think, is going to make the difference in this fight if he gets the win tonight. They've kind of both... Really put out a lot of energy in that first couple, that first little exchange. Now they're back on their feet, probably catching their breath a little bit, getting ready to go at it again. Remember, this is a five-round fight, so they've got plenty of time. Yeah, much longer fight than the, the three-round version. Ten minutes longer, flying knee from Kim, taken to the ground by Bibiano. Bibiano right to the clinch, right to the takedown, hits him oh, with a big left shot. left and right. A little bit wild. Kim smiles. <laughs> <laughs> That's almost to say as if you got me with a good yeah, one. Yeah, it doesn't always mean you're happy. To be honest with the looping left hook just missed. Kim with the spinning back kick. Oh! And another one, the knee connected to the head that time. Bibiano ducked into it, I think. Yeah, sometimes when people, when they throw a spinning back fist, they don't know how to react, so they actually just cover up and they duck their head at the same time, bringing their elbows into their body. I think he just caught him off guard. He wasn't expecting two back-to-back. -back. 
Hawks moving around right now, kind of getting a feel for each other. That's been a jab from Bibiano. You tell what the game plan is, though, for Bibiano. He wants to come in here, get to the clinch, get to the takedown. Wants to, wants to show he has top position. Yeah, beautiful double leg. That's a nice takedown. That was a beautiful double leg. He waited for Kim to step in. He shot in on the double leg and was able to lift and elevate it for the slam. Busy work from the Brazilian, punching to the side, and one or two to the head there. Running out of time to do anything significant from this position in the first round. We're going into a second five-round contest for the championship belt at stake. This is Day One Kim against Bibiano Fernandez. Here's the action from round two. Round two. Fascinating first round. We've got four more to come, potentially. And Viviano Fernandez knows he's in a contest, even though he may well have the edge at this juncture. Don't forget, these five rounds will end up with a fight that the judges score in its entirety, not round by round. Furious scramble. Kim scramble is just unbelievable. I mean, he dropped his hips so fast. Bibby was in, Bibiano was in real deep on that double leg, and they had to switch to the single leg and wasn't able to, to get the takedown. I think in situations like this where I feel like, oh, beautiful, putting back to down. Very nicely landed. done. Yeah, right, right in the belly. I think in situations like this, Viviano needs to actually pressure him against the fence. Put the oh, beautiful oh, back kick back. from the standing position. That was a great back take. We're looking to see if that left arm is under the throat. There it is. He sinks it in. That is under, right under, and this could the be it. It's, it's over. It's over. Yeah. Viviano Fernandez has retained his bantamweight championship. His wife there in the crowd is as delighted as many of his fans are. Another successful defense against an opponent who at times looked as if he was going to cause him quite a few problems. As always, the two combatants embrace mid-cage. Here's how it finished. He got up on his back. The extent of the arm around the throat at that point was hard for us to see. Was it under the chin there, or was it cranking the chin inwards? There, it was quite conclusive, wasn't it? Right around the throat, and the tap, well, it was just a matter of time. The Brazilian owns that belt for a few more months at least. Pound for pound, the best around. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Yuji Shimada calls hold to this battle at a minute 16 seconds of round number two. For your winner, by submission, via rear naked choke, and still 1FC Bantamweight World Champion, Bibiano the Flesh Fernandez. How wonderful to see that respect from the two, as we so often do.